aches for students. So the first thing, if we're just using the power rule, is I can rewrite this, or I can erase the y squared. times dy, which is equal to the integral of, now again, i got to get common denominators, right? So if I think of this as a denominator of 1, I would have to multiply by 2 over 2. So I could multiply this as 4 over 2 times y to the 1 half dy. So you see how I just changed 2 to 4 over 2? And then, obviously, remember when you were multiplying. Just remember when we're multiplying, I'm um, sorry, just remember when we're multiplying exponents, we add the powers. So that equals y to the 5 halves dy. So now, um, now when we go ahead and integrate, remember we're going to add 1 and then divide that. So therefore, we're going to have 1 um, did I forget to? So we have y to the 5 halves plus 1, and then 1 divided by 5 halves plus 1, which I don't think I did, did I? Did I add the 1 on that? Am I a problem? Did I forget to add 5 halves? Ah, I did that wrong. My apologies. So we got to add. Remember the rule of integration. We've got to add 1 and then divide by that number as well, right? So if we look at this, you know, what's 5 halves plus 1? Well, again, doing the same thing. 5 halves plus 2 over 2 equals 7 halves. Thank you, Gabby. I made my mistake. So in reality, our integral, now let's go and simplify this. So technically, this is the integral non simplified here. But 5 halves plus 1 is really 7 halves. So really what we have is 1 over 7 halves times y to the 7 halves. Now again, what happens plus c? If I have 1 divided by 7 halves, again, to my doing work over here, to get rid of this denominator, I can just multiply by the reciprocal. And therefore, my final answer is 2 sevenths y to the 7 halves plus c. Is that what you got, or were you just, OK? I agree. Oh, OK. Well, well, at least you found my mistake, or at least you made me find my mistake.